Merhaba, ben Mehmet. Senin adın ne? Hi, I am Mehmet. What is your name? So, today we will learn some basic structures, some daily life phrases that we use very often. Um, let's start. So, first of all, Merhaba or Selam. Merhaba or Selam. That will, that will be the first word uh, when you meet someone. Uh, basically, both means hi, but merhaba is a little bit more formal and hi is like a bit casual. Um, but yeah, basically the same. Merhaba or Selam. Um, <clears throat> so if you already know that person, that's irrelevant, but if you are meeting for the first time, that would be your second uh, thing to say or to ask. Adın ne? Adın ne? Adın ne means, well, you can guess, what is your name? Here, at, a, and d. At means name. And when you say adın, this suffix, I and suffix, makes it your name. Ad, name, adın, your name. And ne is a question word. What? Your name, what? This is like the literal translation. Um, and that person replies, Merhaba, back, or selam. Ben, Mehmet, or Benim adım Mehmet. I am Mehmet. Or my name is Mehmet. So you can say Ben um, Mehmet or Adım Mehmet or Benim Adım Mehmet. There can be a Benim here which is optional because Adım already means my name and Benim means my benim let me write it here bigger benim so benim means my adım means my name so when you say benim adım mehmet and when you translate it word by word it sounds like my my name is mehmet but that's what it is in turkish uh, and that that's, that is why benim is an optional word so you can say Benim Adam, whatever your name is, or Adam, whatever your name is. Um, so then you may ask them back, Senin Adam Ne. In this sentence also, Senin, ideally, Senin should be optional, but it is not. Um, so let's. Uh, let's come back from the uh, from the end. Um, ne is what? Adın means your name. So remember here, um, Adam my name with M, because I am suffix makes makes it my, and I N suffix makes it your. So, Adın ne basically means what is your name. Senin means your, but it's not optional, because um, just like in English, like um, for example, someone asks you, what's your name? And you say, uh, I am Mehmet, how about you? Or how about yours? You kind of emphasize it, right? You or yours, you emphasize it. That's why in Turkish also, this is necessary, because uh, you're asking back and you say, how about you I am this and how about you that is why this is not um, optional and then that person replies I am this or my name is this okay um, then you say memnun oldum memnun oldum basically means I am glad I am happy I am satisfied um, uh, there's a longer phrase that it literally means I am glad that we met um, but we don't need it right now and also we don't 
really use it very often. Uh, we basically and shortly just say memnun oldum. And memnun literally means um, like glad. Yeah, you can say glad. Oldum means I became. I became glad. I'm glad that we met. Okay. And then you can say hoş geldin, which comes from gelmek. This word, G-E-L, gel, is the root verb, means to come. And geldin, this is past tense suffix and you suffix, which makes it you came. And then we have hoş. Hoş means nice or nicely, like you came nicely. So basically, it means welcome. Well, you can say well and you came. Well, you came. Welcome. And then um, the other person says hoş bulduk, which is the, the common word here, hoş. And which we already said is nice um, or well. And bulduk comes from bulmak, which is a root verb, and it means to find. And when you say hoş bulduk, it's like I found it nice. I I found it nice to be here. Um, basically, yeah, that's the logic. But we say hoş bulduk. I found it nice. Um, and then you say nasıl sin. Nasıl is the question word. This part nasıl means how, and sin is you suffix. Um, don't worry about all these suffixes right now. We will uh, learn them later. Just uh, try to remember the you know the root words and the phrases. But don't worry about the suffixes. So nasıl means how. Sun is you. How are you? How are you? How are you? Uh, nasıl sun? If you are the first person, you just say how you. Um, oh, we forgot this part here. So remember that person you say welcome. You said um, I'm glad that we met. Welcome. And the other person said I found it nice. And then um, and then you say, uh, and the other person says, nice to meet you too, right? Like, memnun oldum, nice to meet you, or I am glad that we met. And here, nice to meet you too, or I am glad as well, I am glad too. Um, basically here, ben means I, de means as well, or too, um, or also, so, I also glad, or I also became glad. Nice to meet you too. Um, okay, and then you ask, Nasılsın, how are you? But I was saying there's a secret sand here, which means you. But if you are the first person asking how someone is, you don't say sen nasılsın, you just say nasılsın. Because sen suffix already means you, so you don't need another extra you. Just how you, how are you. And uh, they reply iyiyim, uh, iyiyim means I am good, iyi, good, iyiyim, I am suffix, good, I am. I am good. And teşekkürler, thanks. Teşekkür, thank. And here, as. Ler is plural suffix. If you watch my previous videos, I, I was talking about them. Ler or lar uh, is plural suffix to make things plural. So here, teşekkürler, thanks. Or the other option, literally, Thank you. Well, not literally, but it stands for thank you. Uh, 
etmek is like a in Turkish we call it um, helper verb. It's not a real uh, word. We usually use it with other words, with other nouns. Mm. Excuse me. And ederim is like to do or to make as a helper verb. And so literally it's like I make tank. Something like this. But it, thank you. And the difference between thank you and thanks, like teşekkür ederim and teşekkürler, this one is more formal, this is a little bit casual. Okay, remember you asked them how they are, nasılsın? Now, it is uh, their turn to ask you back. And they say, sen nasılsın? So nasılsın, basically the same, how are you? But this time, we need sen. It was not necessary here, sen, it was optional, but here it is necessary because um, just like senin adın ne, also you emphasize sen. How are you? I am good. How about you? So that's why sen is necessary here because you emphasize sen. You emphasize you. How about you? Sen nasılsın? So, iyiyim. Teşekkürler. Sen nasılsın? You say. And let's say the other person says, um, Biraz başım ağrıyor. But, let's stop here. Uh, let's do that. Let's say, biraz başım ağrıyor. It literally means, I'm having a little bit headache. Uh, biraz, a little. Başım literally means my head. Baş is head. Here. Başım, my suffix, my head. Are your, and literally means is hurting. But in English you say it hurts, my, my head hurts. Um, so this is your is present continuous tense suffix basically it means ing in Turkish and our your is the root verb to hurt or to give pain okay so the other person says biraz başım ağrıyor ama but but again they use the same word Iyiyim, here. I'm having a little bit headache, but I'm fine. Iyiyim. Just like we said here, i is good, im is I. Good, I am. I am good. I'm fine. And then they say Saul. Saul is the, another way of, to, to, of thanking someone, of saying thank you. So basically it means thank you. And literally, it means, uh, sa means alive. Literally, it means alive. Uh, not that, alive. And all means be or become. So when you say sa all, it sounds funny when you translate it into English, word by word. But when you say sa all, you say be alive. So that's the another way of saying thank you. Uh, let's repeat again. Biraz başım ağrıyor ama iyiyim sağ ol. I'm having a little bit headache but I'm fine. Thank you. And then uh, this is very common phrase geçmiş olsun which means get well soon. But it's not only get well soon. It literally um, remember here is the root word all, just like this one, to be, to become, or to happen, and soon is like, um, let it be, this all soon together is like let it be, and geçmiş means past, something happened in the past, uh, so you literally say, let it be past or you say i hope it passed i hope it passed 
So this is why uh, this doesn't only mean get well soon. We use this phrase very, very common uh, for any unfortunate situation. For example, when someone had an accident, you can say geçmiş olsun. When someone is sick, you can say geçmiş olsun. Someone having headache, someone is tired, someone is having backache, someone, uh, well, any kind of health problems, basically. Also, someone failed an exam, someone got fired from his job, um, someone had a fight with his partner, or like, what else? Basically, any kind of um, unfortunate situations or any kind of unpleasant situations, you can say Bashan Sausun. Except for uh, when someone died, for example, your friend's relative died, we don't really say Geçmiş Olsun. So, except for that, we say geçmiş olsun, well, we can say geçmiş olsun for any kind of unpleasant and unwanted situations. So it's very common, very useful. Okay. Um, okay, we talked about teşekkürler before, thank plus s, thanks. Uh, so you say get well soon because his head hurts, he's having headache and you say get well soon and they say teşekkürler teşekkürler, thanks um, another very very common phrase after this one is kolay gelsin kolay gelsin basically uh, like the equivalent in English would be good luck but more than that, in Turkish it's more than that, you can say, okay, first of all, literally it means easy, polai means easy, gelsin is like let it be or let it come, because this gelmek literally means come. You basically say, I hope it comes easy to you. So here, uh, you wish luck for many different situations. Uh, for someone who is studying, who is working, washing dishes, cleaning the house, painting the wall, um, or like any kind of thing to do. Uh, even for someone who is eating, sometimes we say kolay gelsin, like in a sarcastic way. Or someone just lying down and doing nothing, you can say kolay gelsin, with a sneaky smile. <laughs> uh, that means you are teasing them. But except these uh, sarcastic ways, um, you can use this phrase for anyone who is doing anything, basically anything any kind of job, work, or anything to do. Okay, next one, kendine iyi bak. Um, here, kendine is like to yourself. To yourself, there's a to suffix here, but we will talk about them later. So kendine means to yourself, iyi means good or well, to yourself, good, look, but bak is the root word, is look, to look or to look after, uh, so look after good to yourself, which makes no sense in English when you say it that way, but uh, yeah, it basically means take a good care of yourself, to yourself, good look take a good care take care take a good care of yourself um, and then uh, you 
say thank you again. We say thank you or thanks uh, many times um, for many things. Like if you see here, catch me show soon, get well soon, take care, and like nasal sun or hoshkal din. After all these, you can say thank you because they are, you know, nice wishes. You wish something nice for someone, so they say thank you in return. So again, we say teşekkür ederim. Thank you. Sen de kendine iyi bak. Um, remember here this de. De means to or as well or also. So here you as well. This part is optional because you can basically say sende you too or you can uh, say this long version you can say sende kendine iyi bak you too look uh, you too take a good care of yourself you can say so it's optional it's up to you let's repeat this part one more time so you can say teşekkür ederim sende or teşekkür ederim sen de kendine iyi bak okay and then that person says sonra görüşürüz sonra görüşürüz literally means um, later we will see each other this uh, this whole phrase comes from this part görmek görmek is to see and there like one two three yeah three suffixes here which makes them makes it like it comes from to see literally to see but then after these suffixes it will literally mean we will see each other sonra we will see each other later so sonra means later after next Sonra görüşürüz. Sonra görüşürüz. We will see each other later. And then you say hoşça kal. Hoşça kal. Uh, I'm sure you remember this hoş from here. Hoş geldin or hoş bulduk. It is still the same word. It means nice or well or yeah basically we can say nice. And then when you put this suffix hoşça it makes it nicely um, so it was an adjective before hoş and then it became an adverb hoş nicely hoş uh, nicely and then kalmak means literally to stay so when you are leaving uh, you hope that that person the one who stays, you hope that they will stay nicely, happily. So before you leave, you say, stay happily. I'm leaving now, but you stay happily. That's the logic. Hoşça kal. Happily, nicely, stay. And then görüşürüz again. Uh, because that person said sonra görüşürüz, so you don't have to say sonra again. You, you can just say görüşürüz shortly. Like see you, later see you, and then see you. And then uh, you say güle güle. So güle güle means basically go nicely. So that person says stay nicely, stay happily. And it's like go nicely, go happily, go safely. So whoever leaves says hoşça kal, whoever stays says güle güle. And by the way, I um, I forgot to mention something here. Um, you don't say hoş bulduk unless someone says hoş geldin. Hoş bulduk is only a reply to hoş geldin. You don't say it out of nowhere. So 
You need to hear someone saying hoş geldin. Only then you can say hoş bulduk. But, well, in a sarcastic way, for example, you are a guest in someone's house and um, they seem like they don't care and they didn't even say hoş geldin. So, in a sarcastic way, you can say hoş bulduk to remind them, to tease them that they didn't say hoş geldin, right? But except for that, again, uh, you don't say hoş bulduk unless someone says hoş geldin. Um, so, this is all about today's lesson. But before I finish, we have a surprise guest, uh, my nephew, Samet. Uh, he will come here and we will uh, go over this conversation together like two people speaking. Okay, Samet. Merhaba, adın ne? Merhaba, benim adım Samet. Senin adın ne? Ben Mehmet. Memnun oldum. Hoş geldin Samet. Hoş bulduk. Ben de memnun oldum. Nasılsın? İyiyim. Teşekkür ederim. Sen nasılsın? Biraz başım ağrıyor ama iyiyim. Sağ ol. Geçmiş olsun. Teşekkürler. Kolay gelsin. Kendine iyi bak. Teşekkür ederim. Sen de. Or sen de kendine iyi bak. Sonra görüşürüz. Hoşça kal. Güle güle. Hoşça kal. Görüşürüz. Okay. Thank you, Samet. Teşekkürler, Samet, for joining us today. Um, yes, as I said, this is all about today's lesson. But of course, we have many other. Um, daily structural like um, daily life phrases and I will make another vi other videos about them but for today that's all and um, please don't forget to like my videos if you enjoy my lessons